Hi all, welcome to Pantech e Learning. If you like this video, kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. So just go for the package manager. So here we can uh, collect uh, different different packages, packages in project, Unity registry, my assets. Let's wait for some time. Uh, since there are many packages over here, it will be just uh, taking some time. So these packages will be there and one more built-in packages now the similar thing if you're going for my assets means what and all the assets you have downloaded here we'll be able to get it how to add an asset means click on window go to asset store so here it comes with search online click on that it will be redirecting it to your browser now here uh, i'm having already logged into it so therefore it automatically takes place with that particular id from unity itself now from this here we can see many many uh, si unity assets in 3d model game model everything most of them are paid over here we can also get some uh, free workspace so what is our most important requirement is we need 3d okay so 3d environment are required so inside that particular 3d what and all we required means any vehicles and vegetation environment characters animation everything it is applicable so like we can go for animations first now here it comes with animation but uh, most of the things are paid up over here so we can go for another part known as pricing which comes under the free assets for animation so here we have some free assets like this so these are the different free assets available the two slides are there but uh, that is more than enough i hope so and comes with basic motions so here i am going to import that particular asset to me add to asset click on accept so all the issues should be accepted okay now it is added towards our unity now go for the package manager the name is basic motions so here let us make an refresh yeah so now basic motions has been updated now click on download so now uh, from that particular asset i have added to my account now it is completely ready now we can import it towards our unity click on import so now everything has been imported now we can close it get back to the scene and here we have all our requirements now this package i can use even for my own creation as well as I can also see whatever they have created that particular kind of functions. So this is for free work. So inside free work, these many data are available. So this particular animation here, I have to import it. So this is just a clip. Everything comes under the clip. So this is nothing but a teddy. Now I can open this particular package with the help of the windows itself. So here, if I play means it goes to the play mode. So here's a 3D player. It is not available. So inside 3D player, it works with all the functions. So here we can see here it is getting changed in a small way. Now similarly, you can go for the other animated character like the Teddy 2. So here this Teddy also having some kind of functions. Now here if we go for scene means already the created scene will be available. Now here I'm uh, not providing that saving option. So here already that requirement everything it has been applied so now let us run it so with the help of the gui we have enabled all the functions so this is the advantage of the package inside the unity now this particular package i can use it anywhere i want so this is nothing but the packages now the most uh, important thing is the coding many of them are thinking uh, like uh, the gaming or animation doesn't have any of the codings and all. Uh, here for virtual reality and augmented reality, everything has their own codings. And this particular codings only will be uh, making that particular changes or whatever we require for it. So those uh, particular codings and changes only will make us more kinds of improvements over here. So from that, once whenever we are integrating with this uh, animation as well as the coding part, here inside the unity, we will be using the platform as uh, C sharp. From that uh, C sharp platform, we will be integrating it with any of the softwares. Uh, there are many softwares for C sharp. 
but uh, unity itself will be provided with the help of 2019 visual studio which is present inside the unity hub so by using that particular uh, program itself we will be able to uh, make many more changes inside the programming sections can also uh, provide an assistance whenever we provide this uh, left alt or the progr programming parts means other words everything can be displayed the wrong one the right one similar to the python itself the basic knowledge we require is c so basic c is more than enough for the knowledge purpose so now let us go for the creating a script so during starting of the session itself i have said uh, creating script is very easy so how to create a script means here we have to go for the required folder we can create a number of folder that is up to our wish so creating script right click create c sharp script so click on that we can provide any names press enter and here we can see the preview of our script so inside our script these are the things only available now if i press once enter means it will open the visual studio automatically so here we no need to uh, provide that particular open the project like that and all so these are the basic requirements you can provide the void start uh, void update and here inside this the public uh, whatever the name we are providing inside that particular name of the c sharp file that should be the public so never make the changes in that that is most important and whatever we will be using means system collection system collection generic and unity engine so these are the important header files so public class inside this public class only all the codes we have to apply it over here now whatever i have shown it is a new one similarly for already created so this is uh, just a play mania for animation i'm opening it okay so here it has been created for play manager this will be the entire section for whatever the animation which we have tried it up so this completely comes under the portions of c sharp script now if you don't want this means we can close it so this particular c sharp after creating the script if you want to open the buttons means we have to drag and drop so from that we will be able to uh, get a very good kind of function so from that function we will be able to edit as easy as possible over here so these are the uh, most important parts to work under the augmented reality using unity 3d uh, the fundamentals of c uh, will be uh, taken along with the practical sessions so our next day's agenda it will be completely regarding towards the working with user interfaces using c sharp thank you for watching our video 